Well, welcome everybody to Rise Church's weekly devotional. I've been enjoying this so much with you. I hope you've been enjoying it as well. Today, got my coffee and uh, we're gonna be uh, having our coffee and our devotional together. And uh, we have been in the middle of a series of talks talking about how to live a healthy life God's way, how to live a healthy life God's way. And um, one of the ways I wanted to talk to you about today is, are you, it's a question that I wanna maybe ask you, are you living a grateful life? life. Are you living a grateful life? I I promise you this, your health, both physically and spiritually, mentally, emotionally, is affected by how thankful you are today. You need to know this, that even science will prove this now, that gratitude can actually decrease your stress and by, therefore, Uh, can actually increase your immunity because stress actually messes with our immunity and our immune systems. And if you want to be healthy, I'm telling you, one of the best easy steps that you can take today is just learning to be grateful and learning truly to have an attitude of gratitude every time you wake up. Because the truth of the matter is, is that, hey, guess what? You woke up today. And honestly, there's a lot of people that didn't. You and I have something every day that we can be grateful for. I like what 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 says. It says this in verse 16. It says, always be joyful, never stop praying, and be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. I like what Paul is writing to the church at Thessalonica. He's saying, you and I, as Christians who belong to Christ Jesus, Jesus, we know better to always be joyful, to never stop praying. And he goes out of his way to say, be thankful in all circumstances. Now, here's the challenge. You're going to have a moment where you're not going to, it's that's going to make sure you're not thankful. You're going to have a moment where it's going to come up and you're going to be frustrated, upset, and mad. And here's my challenge to you. When that moment comes up, I want you to find some place, one thing to be thankful about. One thing to be have an attitude of gratitude about. So that, why? So that you can be healthy in Christ. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, first thing you do, open your eyes, stretch, but then look to heaven and say, God, thank you for, and then you fill in the blank. Find one thing tomorrow, every single day, to be thankful for. I want to pray for you. Father, I just thank you, God, that today, Lord, we live in, uh, in, in a time where it's really easy to not be thankful. I pray that we would do what Paul says, to be joyful, to never stop praying, and to be grateful in all circumstances. Supernaturally, Holy Spirit, I pray that you would give us that strength to find something to be grateful every day of our life. I know that, God, when we recognize your blessing, when we recognize the goodness of your hand in our life, we're going to find a ton of things to be thankful for. I know we can do this. I pray that you would give us the power and the strength to do it in all circumstances. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining us for this week's weekly devotional. Can't wait to see you next week again. And until that point, just know I'm praying for you and I believe in God's best for you and your family. We'll see you next week.